<clears throat> okay, so now let's test for evidence of magnetism. Let's say I have an object, just some basically like some kind of block or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's a magnet or it's not a magnet or it's a magnetic material but has not yet been made into a magnet. How do I test this? When I bring this specimen close to the magnet, okay, there can be three reactions. The first one is this. This one is called repulsion. Okay, for repulsion, it means that when I brought this bar over here, which I don't know why it is, close to this magnet, this magnet, this part of the magnet moves away, which means it is repulsed. So, this is the most perfect um, situation because this confirms that this bar over here must be a magnet and this pole over here must be a north pole okay because only a magnet can repel another magnet only repulsion between a specimen and a magnet concludes a specimen is a magnet now a lot of you may say, how about attraction? What if this side was a south side instead and I didn't know and this one attracted itself to the south side? Okay, wouldn't attraction also be a proof? <clears throat> the answer is no. Attraction does not prove that this thing is a magnet. Let's look at the below picture. Okay, let's say when I brought this specimen close to this part and this bar magnet turns itself to attract to this side. Now, it can be one of two things. The first thing, okay, is that this one could very well be a magnet and this pole was the north pole and therefore this south part is attracted itself to the north pole. It, the specimen may be a magnet, that's true. However, it is also possible that this, spec, this specimen may just be a piece of magnetic material. What's the difference? This magnetic material has not been magnetized yet, it is not a magnet yet. This could just be a bar of iron, steel, cobalt or nickel. Okay, therefore this thing, this magnet is just attracted to the magnetic material. However, this material does not need to be a magnet. Attraction between specimen and the magnet suggests the specimen may be a magnetic material, not a magnet or it could be a magnet itself with the opposite pole on the approaching end. So, attraction is not a confirmation that this thing is a magnet. It does confirm, however, that this specimen thing over here is made out of a magnetic material. Lah. Yeah, but that's the only thing it does. Remember, repulsion is the only test to confirm that an object is a magnet. Okay, what if this specimen over here was not a magnet, not a magnetic material, but it was a non-magnetic material? For example, a block of wood. If this was a block of wood, what would the reaction be? Would it be repulsion or attraction? The answer is no. If it was a block of wood, a non-magnetic material, it would not affect the magnet at all. Therefore, there would be no repulsion or attraction. Now, this is what the summary of what I just said before. If it was a bar magnet, it could be repelled or attracted and repelled or attracted if both poles are tested. Okay, <clears throat> that's how you find out whether it is a bar magnet. However, if it was a soft iron rod that was non-magnetized, however, it's a magnetic material, it would attract both ends. This would prove it was a iron rod or a magnetic material that has not been magnetized yet. Means it's, it's attracted to both the north and the south pole. Now the last one obviously is a wooden rod and this would cause each pole to remain stationary. Wouldn't affect. Yep. So let's test for evidence of magnetism. Let's look at this. There's metal A and metal B and there's attraction between these two. <clears throat> Alright. So what could we conclude from this experiment over here on the left? We could conclude that either metal A or metal B is a magnet or both of these are magnets. 
Now, let's take a look at this. Metal A and metal, and metal B have a repulsion. Zoop. Okay, so what can we conclude from this? We can conclude that metal A and metal, metal B are definitely both magnets because to have repulsion, these two items must both be magnets because only light poles repel. Therefore, these two items must have poles and these two poles near to each other must be like poles. This side must, if this side is north, this one must also be north. If this side was south, this side must also be south. Therefore, these two must both be magnets. So, the only test for magnetism is repulsion between two magnets.